All right, guys, this is going to be a quick and dirty video. So um, for you owners of this wonderful machine, the Flyer Pursue, you will know, or any of the Flyer series, you will know that um, it comes with a battery system that is on the other side of this door. It comes with a, with a car battery. Um, a lot of people move the car battery from the back to the front, usually in one of these situations. And I had uh, two golf cart batteries here, but I found out a absolute magical uh, cure for this. The batteries suck. We all know that lithium batteries cost a freak ton of money and, and the regular batteries, uh, golf cart batteries, whatever, the, uh, the ones you have to pour liquid into them are a pain in the ass, deep, deep cycle batteries. They don't last too long either. So. From the previous from from previous uh, experiences, I happen to own an EcoFlow Max. I'm gonna put a, a picture right here on the right hand side in the description, and I grabbed this sucker second hand for two hundred fifty dollars in in Facebook Marketplace. But you can find it for three hundred, three fifty. You can find uh, the 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 River Flow Max Pro, whatever, which has an extension, an ext uh, basically. Uh, an extension an extension module that duplicates the the battery capacity so a uh, regular battery golf car battery that I had here was 67 pounds I had two of them so that was 130 pounds worth of weight this guy right here is 30 pounds it's light it's portable it's one it's like one of those jackery it's exactly the competition to the jackery so the beauty of this is this check this out it has here, let me turn, turn it on. It has a display system where you can see how long it's left, your input, your output of watts. You can connect your smartphone to it. It has down below three USB ports on the side, but it has these two magical things. It has a cigarette lighter right here, and it has an 8 volt there, and an 8 volt there with up to 10 amps. Whoever owns an EcoFlow, if you look at your battery setup, which could be over there, it could be over here, you're going to find two red wires, two black wires. I have three wires for a very specific reason. This is solar panel power coming in to charge your batteries or when you plug it, <coughs> excuse me, at the mains with your with your regular take cable. Basically, it lets you charge your battery, it charges your batteries. So I was like, okay, well, I can't charge this this way because I don't have any input. This can charge two ways. This can charge by either solar panel uh, or it can charge by mains. So, okay, I'll charge with mains because EcoFlow charges in two hours, believe it or not. The batteries take forever to trickle charge with solar panel, but this guy charges in two hours with the extreme situation. So I was like, okay, let me park the charging here for a second. Let me plug in the charger for the battery. Oh, perfect. I'll run this cable. I'll, I'll drill a hole right at the bottom of this plastic. I'll run it underneath the trailer and I'm gonna bring it all the way to this side over here. So I brought it through the floor and I drilled a hole over there and I basically brought a cable right there. I think you see the, that black cable right there. So anyway, that's your cable over there. So I brought two cables in. One was to power the fridge and another one was to power the trailer. Now behind this, this little slide out kitchen, there are two plugs. Actually, let me just go to the other side because I'm doing something really dumb. Let me show you properly. I'm not gonna edit this video because I really want you to, to really see what happened. Hole in the floor, brought in two cables. I'll explain to you what the second cable is for a minute. And I plugged it to that plug over there. Now, when you power the trailer through here, uh, when you're boondocking, and when you power through here, it it brings power to those two plugs in that cigarette lighter. It doesn't work on battery, it only works with mains. So I plug in that there and bringing it all the way through here and bringing it all the way to here allows me to give the EcoFlow power and it charges in two hours flat, which is super fast. Now, that takes away this cable, which was for your solar charging or for your uh, you know, power charging from the wall. And it takes a negative two. Remember, every time I point at a red cable over here, there's gonna be a negative coming from this side. So there are three blacks and there are three reds there and there. The second cable here is the thickest one of them all. 
the thickest one of the three, in your case, you will see two. Why doesn't this sucker focus? There you go. The thicker one powers the whole trailer and the lights, all the small volt stuff, all the lights on the side, all the interior lights. It powers, it powers this light. It powers that light over there. Man, why is my focus not working? No idea. It powers the radio. It powers the lights on the inside. It powers the main light. It powers the fan. By the way, all of this is running on the EcoFlow. It powers the fan. It powers the, the rear working light, etc., etc. So it powers all the main things. This is a diesel generator that I installed, and that's what's going to be the next cable to explain. So that's the second red cable, which is usually your, your thickest one of them all. Usually it's thickest one of them all. My third cable here, my red third cable, is basically a small diesel generator that I purchased and it powers the face controller. It basically powers that module right there. That module right there. So that's, that's what that cable is for. It gives that power so it can control the diesel generator which I, when you guys buy this, you won't have it, but I recommend you to, to install it. It's bomb, diesel tank, diesel generator. It heats up during the winter like a champion. Now, I've turned on a bunch of the lights and look at this. I bought, I bought this, hold on, give me one second, from Amazon. I bought these uh, cables, which I'll put the specs up on the, on the, up here on the screen. And basically these cables are open ends in one end and the pins on the other. Hang out. This cable's out for you. So this is what it looks like. It's a is a is a pin pinned end male male end on this end, and the uh, and an open female on the other side. So what I've done is I disconnected the batteries from the the cables from the battery. I cut out the little disc holes that are used to thread through the battery and I've connected them to this. Uh, one for the whole trailer, and the second one, one for the whole trailer right here, and the second one is connected to the controller. And because the EcoFlow has two 12 volts, 10 amps um, uh, outlets out in this side, see them right there? These guys can power, in this particular case, my trailer, and the diesel heater. If you have a fridge, which is, I have a, 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 one of these domestic fridges. Um, if you have a fridge like this, you could potentially plug it in this other one and, and run your fridge that way. But what I've done is because the EcoFlow has also three um, main plugs on the right-hand side of its, of its side. This is the power right here. I run the cable, I run another cable, which powers a regular fridge, I go to a regular cable, and, and I run it through the back, and I run it all the way through there, which is a little cable that you see hanging out here, uh, over here, basically comes out of this hole, and it runs all the way to the fridge. So it comes out this end, comes out of this side, come through there, and then it comes here to its, mo to its little controller, you know, the little unit that powers the fridge and it, and it goes through here and it powers the fridge through there and it plugs into there. Now, the beauty of this is that EcoFlow, the EcoFlow, when you turn it on, unlike a battery, you can power this particular section on and off. That's off. The whole trailer is off. And turn it on. That's on. The trailer is back on. Everything inside is back on. And because you can do this, you can turn off the phantom power that any diesel generators can cause to your battery. You can turn off any phantom power that is drawing for your battery slowly, slowly into the system. You can kill these two power lines. But the EcoFlow has a separate main 110 outlets on the side, which you see are right here plugged in. This is where the fridge is. And I can power that one separately to run the fridge, but I can but I can kill the trailer. I can kill the trailer completely. The trailer is completely killed, but I'm running the fridge. The fridge is turned on. 
So I can run the fridge without having to run the trailer. And I can come back here and be like, okay, well, let me turn off the, the mains. Boop. And now I have fridge and I have main lights as well at the same time. The beauty of this is a couple things. There's this aspect. You can see the volts are being drawn by the fridge and by the trailer, 66 watts, 62 watts. You know, you can see everything, you know, what's coming out of there, 98%. The whole trailer with the fridge that just turned on and the compressor running turned on will last you for 10 hours. 10, that's perfect for the whole night. That's 10 hours uh, on this tiny little battery that weighs 30 pounds. Look look at the size of the previous case of the battery. I put a lot of things in this case. This case is empty. It's just, it just has like rags and stuff like that. But look how tall the previous battery was compared to the little one. 30 pounds, it lying a ton of weight. And if you can't, if you want to, you can buy another EcoFlow that are bigger, you can do whatever you want. But the EcoFlow allows you to control different areas of the power. In this case, I'm controlling the two volt, the two, the two, uh, little 12 volt outlets and I control the fridge separately. I can kill this, the fridge separately. The other part of this is that the EcoFlow gives you an app where you can control the, the whole system from the phone. I'm going to do a little bit of video recordings on the screen a in a little, in a moment and show you how, how it is, how I can control the battery system from the phone. So when you're driving in the car, you can turn on and off the fridge. You can turn on and on the in, the, the interior if you, if you need to. My biggest issue was that the battery is having phantom powers. And if I wanted the fridge turned on and being run by the battery, it would kill the battery really quickly. Here, I'm getting 11 hours or 10 hours of power right now. And mind you, the compressor is running right now from, from the get-go. So it will go down in a minute after this uh, uh, cools down to it to zero degrees centigrade, uh, Celsius, excuse me. Um, and yeah, and this does the job beautifully. EcoFlow and the Flyer Pursuit are a match made in heaven, in absolute heaven. And let's not even get into the generator part because there's, if, if, if I plug this uh, to the mains, uh, over to the mains uh, and, and run it like boondocking, you can still power everything just like you were doing with the battery. I'm gonna actually demonstrate it for you guys. Um, let's just take all this crap out. I just finished doing this job. So, everything is powered by the EcoFlow. I'm gonna power this sucker in here. Let's see if I was boondocking. You go in there. By the way, you could in theory uh, plug the other end of this cord into this battery and give everything power, but you wouldn't be able to give power out of the battery and maintain this plug in. But anyway, too much information for now. Side. Imagine this was going to either a generator or either a generator or a outlet over at your campsite. Power the sucker. The battery continues to work as normal. All the lights are turned on. The fridge is still running. And you can see your volts in and out. 164, 143. Now you could install solar as well. You can put your solar panels up here, run your wires to the box and still connect it to the second connector. So you could still trickle charge in solar as well as charge this way, leave it all connected. It's awesome. It's freaking awesome. And it charges in, in, in two hours. And you see, uh, because uh, EcoFlow has something called X-Charge, you can have up to 600 watts of incoming power. Right now it's 160, 160 watts because it's at 99%, so it trickle charges. But when you're empty, it can go up to 600 watts. You can charge, you can turn on your generator and charge your trailer. You can turn on your generator and charge your trailer um, and, and run the trailer. Say you're racing, for example, your motorcycles, your generator just takes care of your warmers you, and your AC. You plug this to to this to to the generator for a couple of hours. This thing is charged. You have ten more hours. The beauty of it charges in two hours. It discharges in ten hours with everything turned on. At nighttime, I get actually nineteen hours of life because obviously you turn off this, you turn off the fan, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So at nighttime, I get a crap ton of more hours worth of worth of battery from this tiny little thing. And the beauty that you can control it from the app. You can get so many messages through the app, like your battery's low, blah, 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 blah. 
Um, it's, a, it's, it's an EcoFlow, it's $250 second hand or $400 new, way cheaper than a lithium battery. And it comes with all these features and you can power different sections of the EcoFlow, like the two, like the 12 volt outlet for the car and, the, and this, the side plugs for the fridge. And I can still plug three phones to that battery and I can still plug another 220 volts situation. So if I'm in the kitchen here, uh, and, and I'm not boondocking, when you're boondocking, these guys come live, but when I'm not boondocking, I could grab a freaking, sorry, I could grab like uh, any other device and plug it, sorry, I just opened the garage, the video cut out, but I can plug to the back of these thing, another two items, like a charger, for example, I'm charging my batteries right now, I'm doing a test, I'm not plugged into the main boondocking area, so I'm, I'm charging directly from there. And you can also plug a kettle, a coffee machine, you know, a hairdryer, whatever, because that thing can output, uh, an X boost can output peak of 2,200 watts. It's like a 2,000 watt generator in that tiny battery. And even if you plug something that is like a 2,000 watt power system, I don't know, hairdryer, something really, really heavy, you can turn on your Jenny, your little Jenny, you charge this, and in two hours, you're back up to full. So it's awesome. I don't think anybody should run car batteries. I think the EcoFlow and the Flight Explorer, or to that extent, any other trailer out there, are the dream plan and the dream work to go. Secret of this is these two little AVOL outlets that get kind of like mislooked at, mislooked at, because you have to do a little bit of like DIY electrician work, but it's super simple, man. Uh, I'm gonna put in the description below everything you gotta buy. Uh, and then for any questions, I know this is just a long rant video, but if you have any questions or any thoughts or anything, just hit me up, send me a text, uh, send me a message down below, and I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. I think this is a match made in heaven, guys. Peace.